Welcome to another video of State of Math. In this video, I'll go through the normal distribution options on the Casio ClassWiz calculator. If you like this video, please press the like button below and please subscribe to our channel. In this screen, you can see an accurate drawing of the normal curve. If you want to find coordinates on this curve, then you can do so using the normal pin D option on the distribution menu. So you go to menu and then go to option number seven. You have the normal pin D option in number one. And in this screen, you have three inputs, X, Sigma and Nu. X is the X coordinate for which you want to find the Y coordinate. For example, let's try and calculate the pig which happens when x is 10. So I'm going to enter 10 equals, and then I need sigma and mu. Sigma is the standard deviation. This is the square root of the second number in this bracket. So five squared is the variance. So five is the standard deviation, five equals, and then mu is the mean of the normal distribution. That's the first number in the bracket. So if I press 10, and then the equal sign, I will enter my input. And now I'm ready to read off the Y coordinate. So if I press the equal sign again, I'll get 0 0.0797, approximately 0 0.08. And as you can see from the graph, that's about right. Finding probabilities with the normal distribution is like finding the area under the curve between two limits. To do so, you'll have to go to menu, then go to distribution, which is option number seven, and then select the normal Cindy, which is option number two. The normal Cindy function needs four inputs, the lower, upper, sigma, and nu. Sigma and nu are the same as before. Sigma is the standard deviation, which is the square root of the second number in the bracket, in our case, five, and then nu is the first number, which is 10. Lower and upper is where my region starts and where it stops. Now, in this case, the region starts at minus infinity. It stops at three. Unfortunately, there's no minus infinity button on the calculator, so I will have to enter a very large negative number. So I'm going to press minus and then a lot of nines to make sure this is a large negative number. Pressing the equal sign, this turns into a standard form number. And then the upper is where my region stops, which is three. And now I'm all set to get the probability. So if I hit the equal button, I'll get zero 0 0.0807 and so on. If you round this to four decimals, it's 0808. In the next example, I want to find the probability x is bigger than or equal to five. Note that normal distribution is a continuous distribution, hence doesn't make a difference if you have bigger than five or bigger than or equal to five. So to find this probability, I'll press AC. Note that sigma and nu are already there. I'm not going to change them. All I have to change is lower and upper. This time, this region starts at 5, so lower is equal to 5. And it goes on to infinity, so in place of upper, I have to make sure that I enter a positive, very large number. So I'm going to press a lot of 9s here, equals, and now I'm all set to get the answer, which is 0. 84, 13 to four decimal places. Next, consider the probability that X is between zero and 15 as shown on this sketch. Again, AC, all I have to change is lower and upper. This region starts at zero. It ends at 15. Then nu and sigma are already there. I'll press the equal sign. And this will give me the probability, which is 0 0.818624 decimal places. You can also use the class with calculator to find cutoff points given the probability on the left 
tail of the normal distribution. For example, I know that probability x less than a 0.3. I want to find the cutoff points. So this time I'll go to menu, distribution, which is number seven. But instead of normal CD, I'll go to inverse normal, which is option number three. This time I have three inputs, area, sigma, and mu. As you can see, sigma is five again, mu is 10. So I'm left with area. Area is the probability to the left of my cutoff point. In this example, is given as 0 0.3. So let's enter this equals. And now let's hit the equal button and we'll get our A value, which is 7.38 to three significant figures. In the next example, I have a probability of 0 0.3 on the right tail. So I'll have to do some algebraic manipulation. I'm going to change this to 1 minus probability x less than a 0 0.3, which implies that the green area is equal to 0 0.7. So again, I'll go to the inverse normal. I'm going to change the area from 0 0.3 to 0 0.7. 7 and this will give me 12.6 which is the cutoff point at a i can use a combination of normal cindy with the inverse normal to find cutoff points like this one i can split this probability a less than x less than 17 is equal to 0 0.8 as probability x is less than 17 minus probabilities x less than a equals 0.8. So what I'm saying here is that the region to the left of 17 minus the green region will leave me with the area shaded in blue. And that's equal to 0 0.8. Now, if I rearrange this one and take the probability x less than 17 to the other side, I'm going to get this. And if I change the signs, probability x is less than a equals probability x less than 17 minus 0 0.8. Now I need to find this probability x less than 17. And the way to do this is go to menu, distribution, normal, sin d, and repeat what we did before. I'll have a lower bound of minus infinity, so minus a huge negative number. Upper will be 17, and then sigma and mu stay the same, equals this gives me 0 0.9192. This is both regions together, the green and the blue one, and I'm going to store this on my calculator. I'm going to press the STO button, followed by one of those red letters. I'll select A. So I've stored my answer to A, so now... I found this one, I can just say probability x less than a is that result. Hence, if I go to menu seven, which is distribution, inverse normal, in place of area, I'll just select alpha minus 0 0.8 equals. So the calculator performed this calculation, has a full accuracy, Pressing the equal sign will give me my answer, which is 4.11, correct to three significant figures. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.